Fall, of course, is weaning time for most spring calving operations, and weaning time also means that it's cow culling time. That time when we decide which cows we don't want to keep around and feed all winter long, and we go ahead and market them. When we're marketing cull cows, I think it's extremely important that we understand cull cow pricing. What goes into what these cows bring as we take them into the, the local livestock market. We remember, of course, that cows are graded in four different grades depending upon their fatness. Within each of those grades, however, there's probably a bigger swing in price just due to dressing percent. And as you look at the market news reports, you'll see that these cows are, are given different prices depending upon whether they're average, low, or high dressing percent cows. What do they mean by dressing percent? Dressing percent, mathematically, is just the weight of the carcass divided by the live weight of the cow. So anything that will contribute to the live weight of the cow as she's going into the market that will not end up on her hanging carcass is going to decrease the dressing percent. Such things as uh, a lot of mud on the cow, a heavy udder, cows with a lot of leather, cows with horns, cows that are pregnant. Those things, of course, can influence dressing percent in some cases in a small way, others per perhaps more dramatically. The one that we have some influence over as cow managers as we're marketing these cows is gut fill. The how much water and feed we have in these cows as they go through the marketplace. There's often a temptation to actually, the, the old term is tank up these cows, put a lot of feed and water into them before we market them, thinking we'll get a little more weight. But the fact that there's such a difference in high dressing and low dressing percent cows in price will actually uh, just negate any of the advantages that you would have in the added, added weight. So my advice is don't make an attempt to try to tank up these cows, get extra feed, extra water in them before they're marketed. They'll just go into that low dressing percent category and it'll actually lose you a few dollars. I hope this helps you as you market cows this fall and we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.